Hi. Right, hey guys, we are going up here to meet a gentleman from Hawaii, Joe. I've come up here, snuck through everybody's front yard while they're having dinner. <laughs> Buddy Cup. They're tight, those people. <laughs> I've got up the head and this, this guy's known me. He wants to shout me a beer. Uh, so then I jump back in, grab the camera and come up, introduce you guys to Joe, the Hawaiian. Lao Hawaiian. What a difference it is out here through the week. We've just arrived at Barn Don, guys. Barn Don. The Wang Fuang district. That way into Mwang Fuang, the main town. We're going to be heading right out to the Nam Lake. The Nam Lake River is just an hour and a half up the highway from the ancient. Stop here, get a good feed into us. And then we're going to uh, stay a couple of nights on the river, those river cabins. Mum's got two more weeks here in Laos, so uh, we're just going to relax. And hopefully we'll get a bit of a storm, some rain on the river tonight. Nice tasty <coughs> steak, Lao. Lao bread. How are you enjoying that, Mum? Very nice. Very nice. Not too hot. Lao bread. And our Lao bread has no. turned up. Sticky rice. We are out on the Nam Leak, guys, where we stayed just a bit over a year ago. And hasn't business been good here? Check this out. They were just constructing this. We went for a sticky beat through it, me and Nene. This was just all car park. Now there's more of the buggers. This place is just jam-packed every weekend. Because it's so close to the engine now, with the freeway taking you an hour and a half probably a little bit longer to get up here so people chuff off for the weekend come up here party swim relax chill on the river tube go for boat rides things like that these ones directly across the road there across the river they're new they weren't there last time the very last time we we're up here we we're up here with Steve and Bev we stayed over here in these and they were 350 also then all these ones to the up here are all new they weren't there last time and further up the river there is where we crossed over with the vehicle ferry and we have these two cabins here show you what we've got that's it, it's just a room for a bed, ceiling fan, coffee station, that is it. Now, for the price of 500,000 kit, I know, I know, but where else can you stay like this? Anywhere. There'd be places, but yeah, you gotta pay for it, and you're paying for it here too now. Still not not bad for what you're getting. You can, you can be sitting down here like these these guys here, and just ordering off the menu, and they're texting the texting your order up to them, and this just gets delivered. Not a bad deal. Still got to go up just to this uh, 
the toilets up there for a shower and that, but I'll be jumping in the Riverside toilet here for a shower. Like they have water Yeah. That one. Yeah, if you're going to pee here, Mum, down this side. I don't want to be swimming in it, all right? Downstream. So what's it like being here rather than seeing it on video? It's amazing. Is it looks better in life? Yeah, it's much cooler down here than what it was up on that riverbank. They didn't have these type of boats here last time. So I've seen three of them. Business has been good here in Moan It's grown very quickly. Now they are improving their um, drive-by takeaway shops, aren't they? That's got a little rotisserie on it. Oh, those ducks look a bit raw. Oh, this one at the top. Oh, boy. Do you want anything, Nana? Big boat market where before it was just little boat market. Yeah. Smashing up some papaya salad. It's got a rotisserie here. Drinks, Pepsi, little salad, little esky over there, in the containers. She's got a good workplace, hasn't she? This lady in the boat, got a kitchen and that there. What a beautiful place to work. We got neighbours. There's our neighbours. They're setting up, trying to get the barbie going. I wonder if they're going to invite us over for a couple of beers. That'd be all right. I'll sit back here, wait till they get the fire going, and we'll make friends as everything's um, starting to smell good. Did they invite us to the barbecue? Yeah. Ah, cool. <laughs> and there's a little snack boat going across there now, which you'll get your chips and drinks and uh, crisps, things like that and proper meals cooked up by these larger boats. Winning. Good on you, Mum. Tip top's the one. Good on you. Yeah. Cheers, big ears. Cheers. There we go. Can you pick up? I'm just across the road, guys. It's these timber places you're looking for when you're looking for this place. Park down. There's a car park in there. The river's down the front of there. Widen it out a bit. Across the roads, there's some shops up here. You can buy snacks and beers and things like that. I'm up here looking for some milk. Oh, there's some bananas. All I had is that bloody lactose soy milk. Don't want soy milk. I want cow's milk. There's a couple more shops down here. It's pipes. Maybe we might be in a bit of luck here. Gas bottles here. Crates of beer now. Bit of a garage. Okay, more snacks here. We're going to find some milk in here, right? Eh? Hello, Sabodi. Me number. Nom, me nom. Okay, success with the milk, real cow's milk. So we're good, because I brought me wheat picks away, me bowl, and um, what else did I bring away? Didn't bring any oats. I'm after bananas now, so we'll see how we go there. I like to have me traditional <laughs> Aussie breakfast when I'm away, and it's very hard to get when you're on the road over here, and it's not too hard to just pack. 
as these. I, as much as I don't like it that much, I can handle room temperature milk for breakfast with wheat bix or oats. I'm thinking they're his, his bananas, but they're a bit, they're a bit green. They're a bit green. Got milk. Got milk. <laughs> Tao day. Tao day. Yeah, I know you can eat them. How much? Tao day. Not for sale. They, they, they're yours. Okay, they're yours. You can have them. <laughs> Thanks, dude. We'll find bananas elsewhere. I thought it'd be pretty easy to find fruit and veg around here. We are a little bit away from the main centre of Mwangkarung, the, the main township. And as I said earlier, the, the markets aren't open on the Riverside cabins weekdays. Which I can't really work out because nearly all those cabins on our side are full now. You know, they'd still be doing business, but no. Oh. Business is good up here, and I guess they can afford to have um, weekdays off. These ladies have Makoi. Sabadi! Makoi! Yeah. Oh, good. That's okay. Tadai. Sipha, hun. Sipha. That's okay. Bobinyam. All good. Thank you. That's okay. No problem, Bobinyam. <laughs> what are you making here? Ah, b bamboo. No mai. No mai. Okay. No mai. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'm all set for breakfast. Got me milk, banana, I got me wheat mix and bowl and coffee mug and everything down there, so we're set. Driving in here from Barn Don, which is over in this direction along this road, a lot of new places going in and much more quicker than what I really thought it would grow out here so if you're going to come out here and enjoy the peace and the tranquility do it soon because I've got a bad feeling that it's just going to be overrun like Bung Bing has been you know and I hope they have a, a good decent plan on what they do with this place and, and not just put gigantic concrete Riverside hotels everywhere like they are at Bungang, but how nice are these? Marlon, you'd really be appreciating this. I can smell the timber from here, dude. You guys remember this when me and Nene snuck, snuck in for a look? Sure you used to have it. This is the, the best part of the place. Mm. This outdoor area here. You got underpants on, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I have underpants, but um, I think I will walk down like Yeah. <laughs> you got shorts on. <laughs> what a job they've done on them, hey? And down here was just barren car park, nothing. Just a gravel car park and a river. When you come in, just park your car here. You can see where we've parked. Just yell out to these people, this is where you pay. They will take, they will get somebody to take you down, show you the cabins on the riverside, and just choose one down there and pay them. They will come up and get your bags, trolley them down for you. Uh, smell that timber. How good's that? Yeah. 
some good wood there. We're not just up here to get away for a couple of days. Tomorrow we're going to try to get out and see Mr. Chua. See how he's going with that school. He's out on the farm at the moment. He works out on the farm through the weekdays. Teaches the children of weekends. And um, so we'll go out and see what he does on the farm. And then call back into town and check out the progress on this school that he's building. With help from a lot of you guys that have um, donated in the... Here she is after the beer run. <laughs> it's a baby. He's already offloaded the beer or drunk it. Yeah, he's got a GoFund page, GoFundMe page going set up for donations for people to help and build a school of just a room for the kids. He's getting that much interest from the local Hmong community, the Hmong children, in wanting to learn English. And he's spending every every weekend three different classes each day of the weekends, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, teaching the Hmong children of his village to speak English for nothing. They don't pay. He's uh, not a government teacher or anything. He's just doing it off his own back, a young kid. Now in his early 20s, just recently, recently been married actually. Good on you. Congratulations, dude. And uh, he's just doing this for the future of the village and the community. Uh, here they are. There you going, boys. Yeah. Three years in and you walk on my patio again. Anyway, more about that tomorrow. We'll catch up with him then. But this is our joint. Down there. Toilets, bathrooms up here, and cafe just behind that. Ordering some crispy fish and curry chicken. Couple of beers down here. Got some snacks, and um, we'll call that a night. Hopefully, we'll get a nice uh, rain shower tonight or in the morning. Right, hey guys, we are going up here to meet a gentleman from Hawaii, Joe. I've come up here, snuck through everybody's front yard while they're having dinner. <laughs> Buddy Cup. They're Thai, those people. <laughs> now I've got up the end, this, this guy's known me. He wants to shout me a beer. Uh, so then I jump back in. Grab the camera and come up, introduce you guys to Joe, the Hawaiian, La Hawaiian. I don't know how mum's gonna cross here, they're gonna have to go up and around, I think. <laughs> yeah, you just might have to walk up there and then down. Nah, there. Yeah. Uh. Here he is. Hey guys. This is me new mate Joe. From Oklahoma, Joe. Yes sir. Milk milk brother. Yes sir. Living in Hawaii now you said? No, I grew up in Hawaii. Grew up in Hawaii? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it's new to me, this environment and everything. Yeah. You know, the scenery and everything. Yeah. It's, it's paradise in a way. Yeah. But, you know, it's... It was paradise 50 years ago. Yes, sir. That's the, yeah. the more simple yeah. life. I've been to a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, country. Yeah. But here is, yeah. It's alright. Yeah. You, know, you enjoying it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Especially, especially seeing you. <laughs> you know, oh. I'm just glad you introduced yourself, mate. Yes, sir. Always good meeting you, friends. This is your family, or Lao family. 
Did they travel with you or they live here? They live here. They live here? Yeah, okay. Home, like you. you just traveled here by yourself? Yes, sir. Ah, very good. This is my wife and my mother. Oh. Yeah, you know Nene from videos. Yes, yeah, yeah, you do. That's good. Yeah. This is cold. This is ice cold. Just the way I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way we kick it. <laughs> Fiance. Your fiance. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> yes, Joe's fiance, Kek. And their family. Before, Alright, guys, we're going to cut it there. This is our couple of days in Mwang Kwang. So, here back in the Wild Lao series, still a few videos to go there. Say goodbye to these dudes. Yes, sir. Catch you later, guys. Out here nothing changing, not in a hurry anyway. Can feel the endlessness with the coming of the light of the day. Talking about a chosen place, they want to sell it in a marketplace. Well, Just a minute now Standing on solid rock Standing on sacred ground Living on borrowed time And the winds change They're blowing down that line